Hey everyone, happy Friday. It's Dwight Strew here at Maxwell Polaris. Listen, October sales numbers just came out, so I want to give you a bit of a quick update, give you some of the highlights, let you know what's going on in the real estate market. So first of all, October saw 1,866 unit sales, residential unit sales. Now that compared to 1877 in September, a uh, very small drop, which is in itself is a little unusual. Normally we, we see a little bit more of a drop uh, in October as opposed to September. And I think probably part of the reason this year is just a really great weather we've enjoyed uh, throughout October. So sales remain strong. Uh, 1,866 sales is 11.7% more than last October. Now that may not sound like a lot, but last October was already a really good month. So um, October 2021, the sales were 40% higher than they were back in 2019 before COVID. Uh, so that's a really strong number, 40% increase. Now, one of the surprises I found uh, in, in this month's stats were actually condo sales. And for once, it's a good surprise for condo owners. And that's what we saw a significant increase uh, in condo sales in October of this year. Uh, they were up 34% over last October. Now condos account for about 25% of residential sales. So that 34% uh, meant there were an extra 117 condos sell in October of this year, as opposed to uh, October of last year. Now, unfortunately, condo owners probably aren't gonna get too excited because Home, the, the price of the condos did not go up. Unfortunately, uh, according to the MLS Home Price in, Index, uh, apartment style condos actually fell 1.5% uh, over the same month last year. Now, townhouses fared a little bit better. They were up just about 1%. Uh, and of course, the big winner was still single family detached homes, houses, half duplexes. They were up a total of 6.7% uh, over last year. So that's a really nice jump in prices. Uh, again, it's not the huge numbers that we see in some markets in Canada and, and other places in North America, but 6.7% in a year is still a really good jump. Um, now, hopefully we're on uh, track to continue that. Um, and one of the things that I've seen actually, we haven't seen it for a long time, is people who've bought a home in the last few years and maybe they're selling now for some reason, some of them are actually making money. Uh, and we haven't seen that happen in a long time in Edmonton. So again, hopefully we're on the right track. Hopefully it's gonna continue uh, and we'll continue to see stronger than average sales throughout winter and spring. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about anything I've discussed today or about the real estate market in general, feel free to reach out to me at 780-462-5002 or you can email me, dwight at dwightstrew.com. Thanks for watching, hope you all have a great weekend.